to be honest with you i think i should be in the top five but obviously i can't talk about myself so uh it is literally half past five in the morning and i just thought to myself I'm gonna come here and create some content. For the last couple of days, I've been really mapping out, you know, what content I really wanna create for this channel. Anyway, that's precise the point. So let's do this because I need to go to bed. welcome back to my channel hi i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for joining me once again back onto my channel my name is belinda and if you've not already subscribed please don't forget to press the subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so you get a notification every time i upload this is a nursing based channel all things nursing as well as other bits and pieces as well so some of you may know some of you might not know i am a final year nursing student in the uk adult nursing to be specific okay so i literally got two more months left before i become registered so not long and we are in the process of obviously doing a reflection that's our last academic piece and um, i was just doing loads of reflections in regards to what resources i've been using you know to help me pass throughout the couple of years and without exaggerating most resources that i did use throughout the years is mainly online resource okay so basically what i'm saying is that online resource is the most powerful source that you can use nowadays especially with all this technology improving and by no means am i saying books are not valuable anymore because they will always serve their purpose however for me personally throughout my nursing course i mostly turn to online resources and um, you know to help me to obviously get through this nursing course now i do want to tell you guys i do use books what i use books for is basically referencing if i am writing an assignment i would use books as referencing however that's the only time i would actually turn to books so with google yes google is a good online source in a way however with google reading something and understanding is not as effective as obviously listening and seeing whereas with youtube it's a major platform isn't it i mean like even me talking to you guys about it but it's a major platform you get various um, sources for nursing based theory you get nursing based clinical practice skills so basically that's all the information that you basically get from youtube so for me personally that really really helped me a lot i hate reading i know science crazy but i hate reading and for me personally i find it more difficult to read and understand i find it much more easier if somebody sat down and literally explain every single thing to me if that makes any sense with nursing if you don't understand certain lectures or certain clinical terminologies or even anatomy and pathophysiology youtube is your friend guys it literally will help you ace what you need to ace so this video is mainly based on youtube channels that i've utilized over the couple of years you know to obviously either help me pass with my theory or you know just give a bit of boost of confidence um in regards to my clinical skills as well as to what to expect okay and now obviously because of this pandemic everything is moved online and sometimes with online lectures from my personal experience it's really hard um, it's not really valuable to an extent now what I mean by this is that most of the time after an hour or two hour lectures I'm thinking what was the lecture all about because I didn't really understand what it was about no offense to our lectures at all but you know sometimes there's always somebody that can explain something better than somebody else if that makes any sense so like i said once again i've learned quite a lot through my online resources it really really helped me so in this video i just want to mention my top five nursing channels or medical based channels that i found very valuable to me throughout my nursing course so without further ado let's get straight into it so well, number one guys um, i would say is registered nurse rn I, I believe her name is sarah content that she produces is very informative um, I believe she's she's got over 700 videos, if not eight by now. What I like about her is her standard of teaching. Her standard of teaching is like really, really high. She's really got a high standard of teaching. And it reminds me sort of being in a classroom because she's got this board that she uses and she writes down all keywords which is also very important and very easy for you to understand and learn in addition to that obviously like i said she's a registered nurse she's got a very fundamental core um basis for nursing due to her vast experience i believe she teaches NCLEX but obviously 
that's not much used to us UK students it's mostly for US but other than that her anatomy and pathophysiology amazing guys amazing she really teaches to make you understand and what I like about her is the fact that when she makes a video she goes straight to the point so if you're looking for somebody who can explain to you something very quick in a short period of time she is the one that you would definitely want to go to what I really found useful from her channel is her clinical aspect although she does theory as well I really appreciate her clinical aspects because she explains it to you so easily so for example the ABCDE assessment okay so the ABCDE assessment in the US would be the same as in the UK really so she is one of those channels that I find myself going back to 95% of the time guys so if you ever need clear understanding then registered nurse would be definitely the channel that you want to go to she's 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 amazing I must say so channel number two guys would be clear now the reason I chose Claire is because I am a UK nursing student okay and I subscribed to her channel prior to me even starting nursing I subscribed to her channel when I was still doing my access course so basically like I said to you what I like about her is the fact that she's UK based what I found out is that there's not many UK nursing channels, if that makes any sense. So sometimes it's very difficult to get some sort of feel. Like, don't get me wrong, watching nursing students in the US or watching registered nurses in the US is all fun. However, applying it is not the same because we all have a different system. UK and US have a different nursing system. So sometimes it's nice to get some sort of idea from somebody who walked the journey okay and Claire is one of those channels that you want to be subscribed to because like I said I subscribed to her channel before I even started nursing when I was still doing the access course that's when I discovered her channel so at the beginning she used to do obviously um, more or less of what I'm doing you know documenting her journey throughout nursing school and um, basically now obviously she's been qualified and she works in the GP surgery and for the longest time I was under the impression that if you're a newly qualified nurse, you have to have some sort of experience prior to going into GP surgery. But I didn't know that when I saw her video that she as a newly qualified went straight ahead in GP surgery. I was so happy because I thought that GP surgery is what I would like to do. Had I have not studied further, I would have probably gone into GP surgery. But what I like about her is that even as a graduate up to this point in time, she still tells us about, educates us. That's a great word. Educates us about the clinical aspect, okay? You know, she talks about ethics in nursing. She discusses anything from the ethics side of nursing to the ADPIE. And also, like I said, she has all the videos from her time as a student. So, bonus about her, like I said, is the fact that she's got relatable nursing UK content that are relevant to UK nursing students, which is really, really nice. So, that's why I would really say anybody who's a nursing student in the UK, definitely go ahead and subscribe to her channel it's very very useful very very useful definitely so next channel number three guys would be dr john campbell okay so once again with him as well i subscribed to his channel when i was doing the access call how i discovered his channel was um when i was doing my access course i was doing something on cardiovascular and that's how I came across the channel. He is firstly a retired nurse teacher um, that worked in A&E um, here in the UK. UK based, again, once again, shout out to UK. UK based, he produces videos for students about healthcare backgrounds. He has a PhD which um, focuses on the development of open learning resources for nurses internationally and nationally. Yeah. He's a very good teacher, like I said, he's a retired nurse teacher, so definitely he would know what he's talking about. He's the way of teaching. Sometimes somebody can be a teacher but the way of teaching is a bit off but with him his way of teaching is really really nice he's you know really understandable you know he doesn't rush through information really extracts the important parts that he feels like you really need to know and that's what I like about him you might not have come across his channel um, but he's got he's got a very large platform so you might have seen his video and if you have definitely go and click and see you know what content you can relate to if that makes any sense so in addition he also has basic nursing clinical skills such as how to take an ecg how to read an ecg understanding of an ecg understanding various rhythms um wound care you know how to take care of wounds as well as he has videos explaining various diseases so definitely definitely that's number three um guys all the youtube channels that i am mentioning i will leave them down in the description box for you guys to go and have a look if 
if you're interested okay number four is Khan Academy so Khan Academy you can find nursing content um, as well as medical content but what I like about Khan Academy is the fact that they speak mainly about diseases so you would know that the information you obtain is legit and you are being taught the correct thing however I would still advise you know sometimes to double check your information obviously you don't have to believe every single word somebody says you can go ahead and do your additional research on the side just to clarify that you've got everything that you need to have and once again with Khan Academy I don't watch all of their videos I watch videos that are related to nursing as well as the anatomy and pathophysiology and one benefit of Khan Academy is the fact that there's loads of visual images so if you're a person who learns visually okay with images and colors then Khan Academy is certainly the type of channel that you want to go and watch for clearer understanding of certain aspects in regards to nursing anatomy and pathophysiology if it makes any sense and also in addition to that guys i believe khan academy has a website i'll try and link the website down in the description box below obviously if you want to go ahead and read further for clarification they do do short videos here on youtube as well all lectures who are working for Khan Academy are all PhD candidates so definitely they would know what they're talking about when they relate information over to you okay guys so the very last channel that I'm going to talk to you guys about is osmosis osmosis is very well known it's, it's a very big platform so I think most of us have heard about osmosis or come across the osmosis YouTube channel and they are known as a leading medical and healthcare education platform and I believe at the minute they have just over 3 million subscribers if not more yeah 3 million of something like that. So basically osmosis creates videos on general health. So they do create anatomy and pathophysiology once again guys. And one thing I like about osmosis is their clips are very short. Like if you're looking for a clear definition of a word or a disease rather, they will explain it in a very short clip, under two minutes clip. And for me that is really beneficial because sometimes you don't want something that's long and long and long. You just want to cut to the chase and get on with it. So the content that they produce, like I said once again, is for both professionals and students. So whether you qualify, you're not qualified, um, it's literally for the public in general, you know, to get some sort of health education behind them. And once again, with osmosis as well, it's very visual and I said that the terminologies are very short so it's easy for you to learn in addition to that what i made use of osmosis is when i was doing pharmacology at nursing school and for clearer understanding so i really really enjoyed that aspect for it so basically everything that you need to know about nursing about healthcare about various diseases about pharmacology osmosis is the channel that you want to go and watch um, because that's where you will get literally most of your information from so yes guys basically this is the top five channels that i've been using throughout my nursing school i just thought that you know what as i'm coming to the end i really want to share with you guys more resources more info um, about how you know obviously to get to a certain point in nursing school you know it's just a bit of reflection for myself really to see what i've been doing you know and like some of you might know i'm going to study further so all of these resources are obviously resources that i can take along with me onto my next course and yes guys i hope you like this video guys please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and comment any other videos you would like me to do and i will hopefully 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 see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.